Now, Tim, the Mondeo has been around for what seems like an, almost an eternity since, what, 1993, the first Mondeos were introduced. That's right. It's had one major revision in, in 97, the front and rear end were changed in particular, as, as the most obvious examples. That's right. But still a good, good car and a good bargain as well. Yeah, very much so. It, it's probably one of our best-selling vehicles, especially this model itself, the 1.8 LX. Uh, it's good value for money, good specification, uh, and a good all-rounder. It's a good car. So is it worth looking for the revised model as opposed to one of the earlier models? Yes, it is. The press give these particular cars a, a rave review, which since they changed them just it, late on in 1997. The earlier models, when they were first introduced in 93, 94, had certain warranty recalls on the vehicle. But uh, this particular model, um, since it was launched in the new specification, it has it's been absolutely superb. What were the major revisions that they introduced? Well, all they've got with these is they seem to be the build quality is a little bit better. Um, there's just no warranty recalls on them with these. There is so very small and minor problems with these. I mean, we sell basically thousands of these per year, and they, they, you can't say that there's any common fault with this particular vehicle. If any, it's it's a small thing of like pollen filters filling up, and that, that's the, the smallest thing you could point out with it. So the Mondeo has been around the longest of all the three cars that we're testing in this part of the programme. Introduced in late 1993, of course, to replace the old Sierra. Now, the Sierra at the time was just about bottom of every class in terms of ride and handling and overall refinement. So when the Mondeo arrived, it was a huge leap forward for Ford. And the Mondeo shot right to the top of the class in terms of ride and handling. It's overall a pretty decent car look around for all sorts of variants from the 1.6 right up to the 2.5 v6 there are of course even hot performance versions like the vt24 and the soon to be introduced s2000 so there's plenty to choose from, from from the ford but you really feel when you step in this from the peugeot that well really the peugeot is a different class the ford is more basic it's not as stylish it's not as refined. However, they do represent tremendous value for money. Look around for early L-plated Mondeos. You'll find those at under £3,000. Expect to pay, though, no more than about £15,000 on the used market for a good 2.5 V6 Gear X, which will give you tremendous enjoyment.